Hello and good morning, everyone. So, I'm going to be playing some magic today. Uh, I'm working with commanders I haven't used yet for the new Wilds of Eldraine set. Uh, I believe today I have three decks for y'all. I have Hilda, who does a lot of tapping shenanigans. I have... Oh, excuse me. Uh, what's his name? I don't remember how to say his name. So I need it, like, in front of me. Uh, Totentens, the Swarm Piper, for some ratty business. And Obira, uh, who's a fairy enter, who's a fairy ETB. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm very excited to have rats. I'm super excited that fairies are back. Uh, and y'all are gonna see me play some Azorius Control, which I don't like playing control decks. I like playing just straight combo decks. Uh, so you guys are gonna be watching something I don't like playing, but. Regardless, I do enjoy the deck. I enjoy the commander and the abilities that the commander has. I think they are functionally well done, and they are not ridiculously overpowered. I mean, the problem with the deck is that you know what's coming. It's a matter of stopping it. Hilda's Crown of Winter, that's an artifact? Which of this ability costs one less to activate? You just tap it to tap something. Oh my god. I have not pulled one of those yet. Uh, I do also... Uh, I've been spending a lot of my rares, but I do also have a booster pack to open. So when I get into it, I will also be doing that as well. Uh, I did make the announcement over on Twitter that this was what I was going to be doing today. Uh, I made that announcement at around 7.50 this morning. So about an hour ago. So if you want those announcements, I try to make the announcement about an hour before I actually go live itself. Uh, so yeah, if you want those announcements, go follow the Twitter that's linked below. Uh, as well as, there's a YouTube channel that's linked below. Go follow that as well, because that is where you get all of my VODs. So if you want to catch up on things, want to see some other commanders that I maybe have already done, uh, that I haven't had the time to revisit yet, things like that, you can go check out my YouTube channel. That'll have all those VODs, all organized by game. Uh, I wish I <laughs> wish I had the foresight to have organized them more. But such is the life of brainless idiot like me. Uh, I made the announcement about that, that, that. Okay, so I have no other announcements. Meaning, y'all can stop listening to me for a bit and have some music. So I'll get that going. I have to step away from my computer for a sec, but I will be back soon. So I will see y'all in a bit.
All right, everybody. I am here. Let's play some magic. Okay, first things first, I gotta open this pack I got. I got it like one this morning when I was retesting decks. Uh, nothing new. Sad. Okay. So, first deck that I'm gonna be using today is gonna be the Hilda deck. Because Hilda deck was made for last week, and then I strip didn't play it. So, yeah. Uh, it is exactly what you expect. Uh, Clockwork Drawbridge, uh, Giant Killer. Uh, why do I have... Oh, because it taps the creature and pun controls. Tap, tap, tap. My stuff gains hexproof and untaps. Tab. You guessed it. I tab. Another tap. 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 Roll. Roll. Tap. Or these these are specifically interact with tapped things. Tap. As you can guess, I still tap. 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 Or, yeah. Tap. 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 Guess what? I tap. More tap. More tap. It it's all this deck is. I get enough mana to tap and then activate Hilda, and I just keep tapping things. I mean, eventually it's getting to Junkwinder, because Junkwinder taps whenever a token ETBs. So I get Junkwinder out. I get one more tap off, and then I just tap down the rest of their board. Because Hilda makes tokens herself. So I just abuse the crap out of that. Uh, that one. Just kidding, that's Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, look at that. I'm facing another Hilda deck. Uh, that means this game is entirely based off of who gets her out first and who can start doing stuff. Uh, which is going to be my opponent because they're on the play. Ooh, a Spirited Companion. What if I were to just... I mean, part of me wanted to just destroy it, but that's a bit... Oh, for, for greater, I know how to read my cards. Interesting. Land. Mm. Gonna tap this out of the way. Ah, this explains a lot. Uh, this is the entire reason, uh, Rhyme for a Reindeer is the entire reason the uh, Spellbook Vendor's in here. Uh, besides the fact that Spellbook Vendor allows me to just scry things constantly. Uh, also, if I don't get a fourth land and get Hilda out, I'm, hey look, a fourth land, so I can get Hilda out. I love when I go to say something, and the... Condition I was trying to avoid just avoids itself. Uh, let's see. I don't like that. So it's the cool art of Ristic Study. The set ones. Exile Tart card from a graveyard. Wow. Uh, 
Tell each opponent's graveyard. Mm, what do I got? What if I tap down their Hilda? Will they be mad about it? Uh, I'm going to tap down their Hilda. I can pay the one. And I can pay for Hilda. Which means I get... By robbers. That's a that's an expensive card to pull off right now. Oh, I understand. I was like, why is Unctus in this deck? I get it now. In case they're playing a Hilda deck. They can still they can still self shuffle through their filter through their deck. Get it. I, I can do the brain. My brain is functioning now. I promise my brain is functioning now. And I totally promised that I didn't fall back asleep after making my Twitter announcement this morning. Okay. Oh, the Academy Wall's blue. How do I... How do I get rid of Unctus? Uh, because I don't have a ton of just outright removal. I'll just play that. Do they react to it? Tap. Wait, day, day, night. Tap, 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 tap. Uh, I know I can remove some out of effect. I can remove some stuff with, like, Take Vengeance, and uh, there's another white spell, Swift Response. Uh, cut Short. Yeah, uh, no attacks. I wish I could... I wish I had more removal. I don't have a ton of removal in this deck. Uh, also, this thing, this thing over here has always existed. Uh, I just turn it off 9 times out of 10 because I like being able to see what's over here on the board. Oh no, my 4-4 four is tapped. So I use Giant Killer on their port 4-4 four, because four, it's power 4 or greater. Or no. I don't have anything with counters on it. it doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. Uh, resolve. Auto pay. Get an extra tap here. Resolve. They draw a discard. Auto pay. Token. Auto pay. One more counter. One, two, two more that are real problems I need to block. 
or I need to tap down Ur Uctus, Un Unctus again. His name is so hard to pronounce. Oh no, a 2-2's two coming my way? I'm absolutely going to block with the 3-3, three, three, the smallest blocker I have. Nice. Uh, do I have other humans in this deck? I do. Iliad. Uh, boop. I've been paying like crazy for Ristic Study. Ah. Not the Soul Guide Lantern. Yeah, but now I have creatures with 1 1 counters on them. So I can play the Celestial Regular and it's going to tap something and give it a. Uh, essentially, it's going to give it a stun cutter. It's going to prevent it from untapping next turn. Uh, how is Spirit Away blue? Oh, okay. That makes sense. I forgot he can do that. He can just turn things blue. Uh, deserted Beach. Celestis Regulator. Resolve. Decline to pay. Tap down this. Resolve. Auto pay for Hilda. Distracting Geist. So I need to be able to do one, two, three, four, five taps. I could probably get away with only doing three, focusing on the five, the four, and the four. See, I wanted to do Sinew Dancer, but needing to get poison counters on someone is a pain. Because that's the only way you can reduce the cost of the ability. Otherwise, it costs four to tap something, compared to something like my Giant Killer that costs two. Uh, and had a removal spell on it. I'm 100% not queening while just like sitting here waiting for my opponent to take their turn. Just trying to clear cobwebs. Oh no, a 2 4. Block with my 4 5. The 3 3 will just hit. I will pay the one because I get two enchantment, two taps off this. So I tap the wall. Resolve. Auto pay. Uh, 
uh, tap two untapped humans you control. I want to tap as little as possible. So be the giant killer, right? So I tap the four, five. Auto pay on Hilda. Do everything on one counter. Nice swing, because distracting Geist will then tap down the flyer. Because that guarantees my flyer gets in. And yeah, I got them to tap other things. They ended up tapping their Sky Shark Officer, Sinew Dancer, and Ice Rot Sentry, leaving them with a single blocker. So I won this one. Probably turn to hope for a board, but they were tapped out. Yeah, this is this is a deck. Let's do it again. I fully believe that I will not be able to pull that off again. Uh, however, I could prove myself wrong. A torn stack. This deck might actually be a problem. Because I think Torrens can get wide faster than Hilda can. And even with tapping multiple things... Oh, I'm on the play, though. I'm going to have to hold Giant Killer as removal. But I can drop the Scab Wrangler. Scab Wrangler's fun. It's like my... It's... Uh, I'm trying to think. It's... It's like all my ones that require humans specifically. She is a human, but she just cares about three untapped creatures I control. Hey, remember when I was like, mm, this deck might be a problem for me? Because I do. I remember when I said that not even a minute ago. Maybe two minutes ago. These guys don't have training, though, so that's good. What if I just say no torrents? Am I mad because I couldn't get Hilda out? Yeah. But is it important for me to lock down their ability to create or to buff their things? Also, yeah. Uh, Horn of Gondor gets a white human soldier took in. And this is what they get for human soldiers? Yeah. So I'm actually going to need removal before they go too wide. Because if they get wide enough, I won't actually be able to tap them down. Issues why running control sucks. Uh, yeah, I need, I need her. Oh, I could have played the half elf monk. But I need Hilda out. Because, yeah, tapping things is fun and all, but if I don't have Hilda out to take advantage of me tapping things, then what am I doing? Uh, I could probably put Unctus in this deck as well. I, it has a... I think it actually has a more white lean, though. Uh, actually, it might have a more blue lead just because I have bolty hipped blue spells. Uh, Frost Fist Strider. Uh, Frost Veil Ambush. Snow Day. Fishes. Does. 
The snaky guy. Is your snaky guy actually just one? No, junk winders two. Uh, you're tapping my stuff. Why are you tapping my stuff? I'm the tap deck. I'm the deck that's focused around tapping. Um, I'm just gonna prevent Torrens from attacking more. Because it is clearly bothering them. How do I get rid of the Inspiring Commander now? Uh, humans I control get 1-1, one, one, so that's both of those to get a buff. I actually think I do have a human sub theme in here. Because there's two. There's another two. It's four out of my seven creatures that I have out. And I what? Dungeon Geist? Because it has flying. And their little human tokens do not have flying. Or reach. Yeah, this deck does have a very high chance of overpowering me, though. No matter how much I sit here and go, aha, I'm doing so good. This deck can take me out out of nowhere. Uh, which is not normally something Selesnya can do. But, I mean... <clears throat> a well-timed overrun is always impressive. Uh, oh! Yeah, mmm... I suppose I need to do something about that. Because they just gained six life off of that. And they'll just keep doubling that. Uh, oops. That's one last week. You mean control? That's dumb. It's a 4 4 with vigilance. My giant killer can actually kill that. Because it has power four. So I can finally use the first half of my spell. A plus two mace. They're going to what? Oh, uh, they can't equip it. Aha. I don't like the fact that they gained 10 life this turn, or 9 life this turn. And they have 16 humans on board. I don't have mass minus X minus X spells. Not in the colors for that. No, it's, no attack with the Inspiring Command. Attack with the Inspiring Commander. Uh, I definitely need to blow that up. I need to block as many of the humans as I can. I don't get anything for me killing their humans, right? Yeah. And then I blow up the Phalanx. And play the giant killer because he gets a buff, so he'll go to a th two three, making him bigger than their tokens at the very least for now. It's 
stun counter on it. We don't need to worry about that if I'm just going to outright destroy. I tap her. Oh no, I tap. No, I need to do that at the beginning of their turn. Force them to spend the mana on it if they're going to use it. Uh, I won't attack. Because I want to use Dungeon Geist and Clockwork Drawbridge or my Giant Killer. But essentially, I'm going to turn whatever three creatures I tap into a 4-4. Four, four. So, 4-4 four, four Ice Guy. Yeah, no, that's, that's the cue for that. That would be my cue. Uh, I should have done the Clockwork Drawbridge because I could block with the giant killer and eat something I could have but I didn't but yeah something with six tough six toughness in a torrent deck is a problem but no I can take I take two out of the ones that attack me it's the horn of gondor that I'm worried about though What does that do? As long as it's your turn. Okay, it's just that has first strike. We need to make sure it didn't give other humans first strike. Because if it did, I would have been rude. I mean, the problem is component. Collector is also not triggering like ever because they just keep drawing too many cards. Can evoke X equals zero? Nice. Uh, do that, do that. Or no, I want to kill the ones with the training directly. I'm losing life at an alarming rate. Uh, I need to tap something. Plus all my mana. Okay. Here's what I do. Do you... Nope. I tap that. Tapping this, this, and that guy. That way, I can pay the one, get a 1-1 one, one counter on everything. Mesmerizing Dose. Tapitan Creature Proliferate. Good. Uh, 6, 10, 16, 19? And I would be SOL. Uh, should I have tried to tap down Esquire the King permanently? No, I think Inspiring Commander was the best choice. Because that's the one that they buffed. Granted, they can move the buff and still get the training benefit. But it costs them extra mana. Okay, enough of the training, though. I think the most efficient thing is the giant killer, because it only taps itself with two mana. I should have gone black. I should have gotten more tokens.
I need one more mana, then I can play Frost Strider. Frostfish Strider. Because if I can tap down their Reach guy, that'll be big. Their Reach, their 3 1. Training. I know which one I'm blocking first. Uh, I need to be careful about what I block that with. Two, four, six, eight. I drop down to eight. But they'll have four creatures up total. That would be why. I did my math wrong. Oh no, I was supposed to do this at the end of their turn. I slid mana up specifically to do that. Oh. Okay. I tap down there, Reachy dude. I make another. Good. Or do I do the plus one plus one counter? Six, ten, ten. 20, 29, 31, only 31 damage, still can't kill them. Because that's the problem, is I need to kill my opponent outright. Uh, 31 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 38 damage. I should be good. Provided this gets blocked. That drops down to 33. And then, let's say the... Yeah, I won't be able to... Mm, I didn't tap enough stuff. That takes two humans. So, if I do Giant Killer... Oh, this also takes two mana. I mean, worst case scenario is I get blocked by their 1-4 and don't have to deal with it. I'm low on creatures. Because they're going to Esquire the King. Because they can do that in response to me trying to tap it down. Because I want to avoid... Tapping certain things. The problem is my Scab Wrangler is now a 5-4. My Giant Killer is a 4-5. Like, my creatures are big now. I need to time this right. Otherwise, I stand the chance of losing. Because uh, if they swing all their tokens at me after buffing them... My concern is the 3-3 three, three. So, what is this doing? They're going to gain a ton of life here. Cemetery Protector. What they exile? My enchantment aura? I figured they would have exiled one of their humans. Now they have to play enchantments. The play an ambassador gains indestructible in time of turn. Good thing it's not attacking. 
Okay. What is what are problems? The reach guy's a problem. The three three first strike is a problem. Uh that's a three. That's a three. Two. 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 Did I stall them long enough? I think I did. Because now it can just eat all their stuff. It dropped them down to 7. That's the lowest that that number's been since it rose above 10. And yeah, they scooped. So that counts as a win. I will take. Uh, the only sad thing is Hilda games are long. I I have to play for the long game. I can't play for the short game. Because I have to debate, okay, do I tap something down now or do I let it have the ability to attack me? What are the pros and cons of each? And I have to think about that with that stupid, like, 45-second timer going down in front of me. Uh, Impede Momentum is good. It's cheap. Capture Spear is good. Dungeon Geist is good. Ice Rod Sentry is good. I wish this was a land. If this was a land, I would keep it. No questions asked. But only having an able impede momentum, it's not worth it. Sky blink. Okay, I have I have this is a playable hand. Not the best hand. But it is playable. Uh, I mean, having this early is huge because it's a landfall tap. Landfall tap is huge because it's basically, okay, I play a land, I tap that land for Hilda. Hollow Respite's kind of fun because I can use it for both my board and their board. Uh, distracting Geist. Actually, if they're gonna... Oh, they're Glissa. Glissa doesn't fare too well against being tapped down, though. So they're probably gonna do everything they can to avoid my tap spells. But I'll just play Hilda. Because I swing with that, and it force taps that. Because Hilda can block the chance met elves. And that's big. Uh, yeah, I just need to get the McKinney Ox out. Actually, I think what uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to hold it until I get six mana. Until I get my sixth land. So that's five. I don't like trample life flank. I'm going to capture spear that. Auto pay. Put the token out. No attacks. It's basically I want to be able to play uh, protect McKinney Ox. I want to be able to protect McKinney Ox. I want to be able to protect Hilda. And I'm also going to be dropping my third tap source. Like two twice. Crossbell ambush tap up to two dark creatures. Those creatures. Do I... Hmm. Non-legendary. I can... Hit that and then later hit 
uh, distracting ghost. Auto pay. Another token. And I actually will cycle this. I won't hold the mana for Frostveil. Because sleep with fishes is huge. I can target that on Gwissa. Tap down Glissa, get fishes that can't be blocked. Put 1-1 one, one counters on Hilda. Or use the 1-1 one, one counter from Hilda to put on the fish. Some fishy business. Also, Sleep with Fishes should absolutely be in my my seafood and bears deck because that's a simic deck using a alchemy card as the commander because i can sack foods into the commander i get a creature and mana tap down glissa forever auto pay now we start countering it up. Because I need to get around the Renin 7 tokens. This might be Golgari tokens, actually. It might not be Glissa Glissa, it might just be tokens. And tokens I can deal with. Uh, can we move to combat? Okay, Doak. I'm gonna nope. I'm gonna tap that using this, this, and that. Uh, cause I lose my McKindy Ox right here. Cause they're not gonna let me have uh immediate taps on the landfall. Right? I lose, yeah, I lose the ox. I lose the ox because it's a landfall. If it wasn't a landfall, it'd be a different situation, but it's a landfall, which is ridiculous. There's a reason that that spell costs five mana. Uh, okay. I drawbridge, so it's out. I mesmerizing dose that so it never untaps. And yeah, I proliferate. Plus I have shore up. Three that way. Two sixes at the face. Good thing you can't block that fish. He has one line of text, and it's that he can't be blocked. That's it. It's great. I might want to splash more proliferate in. I'm unsure, though. Just because being able to proliferate the 1-1 one -one counters I put on things is really, really nice. But I think the card that I played is my only source of proliferate. And I mean, this only shows what's left in my hand, or my deck. Uh, I mean, Captivating Unicorn is the same as... The moose, the reindeer, the rhyme for reindeer. Uh, the only difference is constellation costs one. The captivating unicorn costs one colorless more. Sacrifice a non-token creature, a planeswalker. <sighs> Drop the one mana bridge that. Awesome more mana to just do anything. 
Yeah, I'm not seeing any other spells that I know are proliferate. Uh, what if I give Hilda Hexproof? What if I do the thing that says my deck definitely has blue in it? Uh, cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna, ah, uh, it's legendary cause it's a shieldred. Uh, I'm gonna remove that. Just goodbye. The fish. No, I auto pay the one to give everything one one counter. Attack with fish. Two, seven. I just attack with everything, right? They only have four blockers. I have five creatures in outside of the fish. I win. It's slow, it's grindy, it's miserable and controlly, but I still win. Actually, I want to check my stats. I close the stats tab. I can never pull up the stats tab, right? information uh stats my decks select by format last play uh so far 57 percent win rate Uh, that's a lot of blue mana and a whole lot of nothing to do. The Kindy Ox. Uh, I think any hand that has McKindy Ox in three lands, I need to keep. I mean, I drew him up to my poor friend. Hey, my Mercury. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's that's mana six. So basically, on four I do Hilda, five the Charmed Clothier, six I do McKinney Ox, and that should be all I need to get going. Or when I'm supposed to be playing my sixth land, I play. Uh, McKindy Ox. Do I capture sphere that? I do capture sphere that. I need to, as much as I'm not getting Hilda's activations, which sucks, I need to lock their board down before it blows up too much. So I successfully stalled enough to get to Hilda. that because I'm going to play Hilda on five which is ultimately okay Rav's just annoying giving all of his stuff double strike it's 100% not what I need right now oh don't do that no 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 you're supposed to let me tap things down. Oh wait, now we're making more. Wait a sec, that's actually really cool. What? Impazio rather than first quick ability activate each turn. Yeah, no, this is this is it for me. Uh, I do that. I do... Because all their stuff is already tapped. If 
bubble snare that. No. Stop it. Stop that right now. Stop. Dueling Rapier gets automatically equipped to something. Which is fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I promise it's fine. Everything only gets double strike. I still take 8 going down to 9. I don't have enough control for this. Uh, let's see. Okay. I do this. Nope, I shouldn't have done that. All their creatures are tapped again. Creatures are tapped. All of their creatures are tapped. And it's driving me nuts. Damn. Also, their deck did all of that off of four mana. Four mana and probably some treasures. Uh, thank you for the follow. Careful D4. I think that's how you pronounce your name. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong. But, thank you for the follow, welcome to the stream, welcome to me wanting to gouge my eyes out because I'm playing a control deck. Because, Re, I'm not the biggest fan of control. Not as much as I hate werewolves. Any chance I have to talk about how much I hate werewolves in this game, I will. Ah, uh, ba 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 rhyme fair, plunge into winter, three mana's nice. Uh, Kelpie Guide's nice. So I can tap or untap things. Drawbridge. That's a turn one play. Expedition Lookout. You do. Can't be blocked. Oh. What if we... Don't do that. I mean, you have Defender for now. But I'm concerned that there's an arcade strategy here that I don't like. <laughs> Diamonds are shield mage's best friend. I'll block them off. Yeah, I mean, it's arcades. So it's big butts with Defender. Because those big butts then become their power. Uh, but they don't have green mana yet. This is block chunks. Hilda. Unless you control eight or more land. I'm coming up onto land five. Okay, doke. Um, I don't want to take four damage to the face. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I can water not. Uh, 
auto peg give myself the token I wish I could have put the wire knot on arcades but uh... what if we don't do that there are many things we could not do. That is one of them that we shouldn't be doing. Oh, look! Stop that. Can't do that yet. Four, five, six lands? Not bad. I'm too short, though, from being able to activate Kelpie Guide. And to activate abilities can't be activated. What? But, but Hilda's, Hilda's is a triggered ability. The triggered May ability that I have to pay for. Right? That's, that's the ruling on it. Because it's a whenever. But the dungeon geist after the junk troll was good though. That was a very, very lucky draw. Uh, core halberd, it's going on the wall. Oh, because that allows the wall to compare to these guys. I get it. I understand. Okay. I play this guy first, right? I play that guy because when I go to play this to protect the dungeon geist. Because that's the one I want to protect. Because I don't want their 6-6 six, six on, their zero six on tap. Our creature you control, attach it to the thing to make it bigger. The 6-6 six, six token wall. You know what I don't like? A 6-6 six, six token wall. Goodbye, drawbridge. But no, the royal roll gives also a plus one, plus one, which will allow me to block arcades. Uh, and if my brain functions properly, tap target creature I control, tap down, probably that guy, and Hilda still activates. Let's get Eve here. I love when things aren't activated abilities and they're triggered abilities. Because, I mean, if Hilda can't attack or block, that's fine. Ultimately, that's what I want. Hey, you have a clockwork drawbridge. Mm, I now have things that can remove... I have a thing that can at least block and not die arcades. But yeah. Their deck can just swing out now. Three, six. That is an amount of damage I can take. Uh, entire creature. I 
draw a card. Heal to activate. Auto pay. That. Network disruptor. Tap that. Auto pay. This one plus one counter. Eleven. Did I outlast them? They have four. That kills me. You know, I couldn't get those enchantments off me. Uh, them, them paying through the one, the ward on my dungeon geist was not something I expected. I expected them to try to see if they could remove it. Because uh, personally, I would have tried to remove it over just pacifying it. But, I mean, it paid off. Uh, I will do one more with this deck. I was late to start. And I had a booster pack to open. My second monitor is acting up. I believe it hates me. Hey, look, it's Hilda's Ice Castle. What the hell is that word? And sorled. And and sorled. Enchant fascinate. I know the English language. totally i don't like this hand it's not a very fast hand and it's not very reactive uh it might be um, okay this hand's a bit better i can at least tap their stuff down and buy time no this is another equipment deck, by the way. Second one I've been paired against. Mm, I don't think that... I need to cycle that. Ooh, 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 that eats that. Because I can't put on Kemba's outfitter either. Because Barbed Batterfist is uh, plus one, minus one. I hold mana up for a hip. 
Definitely not. What is Spike? What if we don't? Death touch and cause me to lose half my life rounded up. Uh, bubble snare or water knot. A one. And then I bubble snare that one without the kicker. I mean, they get to attack with it once. Uh, or the moment that I tap it down. It will never untap. And that might be a problem. Cost five. But yeah, that's a, that's a problem. Because I have no way of actually dealing with that. Uh, one one counter. Auto pay the one. Create another guy. Aegis. Tap the outfitter. The one on that. Auto pay. Yeah. I got nervous. I made them much more nervous and won. Little victories. Uh, which means Hilda ends off today at I mean that's uh five five. So yeah. Uh, I guess I'm going to play the rap deck. I don't have the rats that make tokens of themselves. I don't have pack rat. I don't have the other rat. The one that you can have any number in your library. Uh, but I have basically every other rat. So, Toten Tents, Swarm Piper. Whenever he or another non-token creature I control dies, I create a one more black rat that can't block. Uh, but my rats can gain death touch also for two mana. So it's a lot of it's a lot of rat stuff. Uh, a couple quite a bit of sacrifice as well, because both the rats and my non-token cards that aren't rats are things I want to get rid of. Uh but it allows me to run things like Tragic Slip, Warehouse Tabby. Uh, all sorts of stuff. I have some food stuff because Flitterfang cares about food stuff. Uh, so I have some food generation. Uh, it's Flitterfang and Experimental Confectioner. Those two work really well with food stuff. I thought about making a mono black rat food deck, but I just didn't have the heart to go that far. So I went rats. Just rats. Splash some food, splash some sack in. Good stuff. Uh, I thought about playing open cemetery in this as well, or oversold cemetery in this as well, because it forces me to put my non-token stuff back onto the battlefield. But I think oversold cemetery will be a target for removal immediately. And I think that's why I didn't put it in the deck. At least I don't think it's in the deck. Although I have a copy of it. 
So I think it would actually be really, really powerful in this deck. I think that's the only thing that right now I would change. Is I'd put Oversold Cemetery in specifically so that I can sit there and go, okay, well, Totem Tats is out. I'm going to sack this other guy. Uh, beginning of my next turn, Oversold Cemetery triggers. I get that guy back. A Greta deck. I played a Greta deck. I was crazy once. Locked me in a room. Upper room. Uh, I'm not seeing Oversold Cemetery. So yeah, that would be like the one thing that I would absolutely want to put in this deck. Uh, I need to double check the amount of non-token creatures I suppose that would also help piper of the swarm you mean totem tats it's just a younger version of them that's all it is before and after we love a good before after moment When you're trying out the job versus when it finally suits you. Okay, Savvy Hunter, Greta, makes sense. I also have Savvy Hunter in my Greta deck. Also, I appreciate that they have the uh, Sir Ginger. Um, what if I don't block? Which the tower doesn't deal enough damage. Mana value three or less. Or do I punish them more for killing my stuff? Oh, because I can then bargain. I see it. The little electric shocks are working. The brain is functioning. Mm -hmm. Uh, I could use the extra mana. Because that mana means I can get Experimental Confectioner and Tribute to Harabi out. The problem is, is trying to, I mean, I essentially have to let their rats through when I go and sit, when I sit there and make them. It'd be great if they played an experimental confectioner. Because I know he is also in my Greta deck. Ooh, I see you. I'm not getting in your way, though. Uh, I am concerned about the sheer amount of mana that they have. Uh... Yoink. Yeah, feed the cauldron to Hirobi is the better option here. And I need to wait for these rat rogues to come over to me. Still have four mana to work with. That's definitely not something to scoff at. Oh, look at that. They got two foods this turn. Uh, oh, I need Voracious Vermin out. Three damage target creature and I'll scry one. Ooh. No attacks. This next turn I get smacked by two rats. And then I never let them do it again. The rats are mine. They're my rats. Mm 
We have a 5-5 five five with Vigilance. Why... Why is this the way that things are? Uh, I mean... Death's Will. And Rats. We have Menace. And... Rat. That has Flying and Menace. Uh... Boom. Sack this guy to draw a card. Ooh, because now I can experimental confecture and costly plunder. Costly plunder sack of food. Which Flitterfang had life like? So I suppose the flying and buff alone are good enough. Five six death touch. Oh no, whatever will I do? I will admit, I don't know what their plan was. They saw I had a bunch of blockers because they started making rats that could block. Uh, that, I think that's the biggest problem with this deck, is trying to figure out when I trigger rat tokens being made, when I'm triggering non-blocking rats versus blocking rats, or blockable, or, yeah, rats that can block versus rats that cannot block. The biggest challenge of this deck. It's the only real challenge of this deck. Because if I'm not careful, I just make a ton of rats that can't block. And then I'm like, well, that was fun. I think I did that yesterday when I first played this deck. I ended up making like 10 rats in a single turn, but none of them could block. So it was just like, I guess this is happening now. I had, to or no, Totentats died as part of it. Uh, cause I got hit by a board wipe, but I had a bunch of non-token creatures out. So they all turned into rats. No big deal. Uh, except for it was a big deal. Cause none of those rats can block. Cause that's what he says. Totentats. Totentats. Tants. Like Rosencrantz and Guildenstern all over again. It's just names you can't pronounce. No matter how hard you try. Uh, what if I blow up their Raging Resistar? Never it attacks, deals one damage. Okay, so I just blow it up, right? I blow it up and then swing with my rats. Uh, I should have kept the Harried Spear Guard back. attacks a battle so I just abrade it right do I run I'm gonna run the rat king oh swing and a miss uh, I wish I got potent tents out because harried spear guard is gonna die Oh, that is Menace. Menace is not good for me. And Tragic Slip is not... It is instant speed. Uh, Potent Tense. Swing a 1-1 one, one rat. We're going to block the rat. Because I have no mana up. You're not going to block the rat. Awakening Sun's Avatar. What? 
Hello? See, that's what happened. Because <laughs> now I have five rats and not a single one can block. Oh, I wish I had mana up right then. Uh, oh, I can annihilating glare. I can annihilating glare. Uh, tragic flip. And then tap one for the tragic slip. Now I deal four damage. Because why would I hold them back? They are one ones that cannot block. It's like mites all over again. Only these guys don't have poison anymore. Did you trample haste? So I what? A braid and then torch the tower sacking a rat? And that goes at a tolly. Uh, I abraid three damn shark creature at a tolly. I torch the tower bargaining at a tolly. Sacking a rat. No Atali. Absolutely not. Uh, and I just hope they block with Gishath for one of them. Yeah, like that. Because that's the one I give Death Touch to. Magic is fun. Dinosaur decks are very difficult to deal with, so I'm glad my little rats are doing something. Uh, because I am about to get smacked in the face for seven because I can't keep a board state. Because I just keep swinging with everything. Because they have rats that can't block. So the only way for them to do damage is to... proliferate yourself. Give yourself an extra poison counter. Okay. Oversold Cemetery absolutely needs to be added in. If I play him, I can't do anything else. But I, Or I could play Removal. Play the Removal. Sack the food. Pretty sure that's game. Yeah. Fun fact, dinosaurs are in fact bigger than mice. Let's try that again. Uh, this deck does have a slower win rate, I believe. Uh, just because things like that can happen. Like, a board wipe really does some damage here. Is that the Elish Norn? Hold up. Okay. If it was the other Elish, Elish Norn, uh, plus two, plus two, and minus two, minus two, I would have had to scoop. Turn my rats into pies. I want to make a Jund rat deck. I think Corvold's gonna be gotta be the commander. I can use like Witch's Oven. I can use uh, Peregrine Took. Uh, having that Golgari and Rakdos synergy. Revive everything. Mm, I'll do that. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to block and then Corrupted Conviction it. Which prevents them from gaining the life because it was declared as blocked but never dealt damage.
Go ahead. Go ahead. Buff it. Buff it to high hell. Yeah. They buffed it. Oh, Marinar. I do that. And then the warehouse tabby. Uh, warehouse tabby is good because if they remove, try to remove Bastion for Remembrance, I get a rat. Also, warehouse tabby is just another no joking creature. <laughs> Because, uh, yeah, that's one of this deck's biggest weaknesses, is it doesn't actually have a ton, I believe. You're gonna pacify my totem tags? It's literally because it's a 2-3. Right? I'm gonna block, and then I'm gonna witches up in the cat. You're not gaining life off of me. In fact, I've only gained life off of you attacking me. Okay, doc. This one, I... I want that. Fear me. Fear me. And what, because of Ivory Tower, they want to keep as many cards in their hand as possible? Uh, how much made do I have? Do I have enough made to replay Totentats? I get another rat from him. Fashion of Remembrance triggers. I block this the Marinar with the Marinar. Because they don't have mana up. Am I being pranked? Sack a rat. Gain two rats that can block. And I think that I'm good. Because now I have rat tokens that can block. So when I block the mite, I leave that one up. But when I block the human, I sack that. Or if I have to block the alabaster host. There's enchantment removal. So when they go after my Bastion of Remembrance, I now have something. Uh, <laughs> raid Bombardment. Uh, boop. And I will do the Rat Conversion. All rats I control have fear. Yeah, because I could I if I had oversold cemetery in this. What would be happening is I'd be able to sack Marinar to Witch's Oven after I create its extra rats, giving me a rat that cannot black from Totentaz. Next turn I play Marinar. And I keep kind of like taking a two turn cycle on activating Marinar. Yeah, because I, I just want to leave the Witches of an up. Um, I could do this. So then I go and I attack with all but. Two. Those are all two twos. All two twos with fear. I just need to leave enough walkers that I can block with tokens. That's the big thing. I can keep enough blockers up. Unless they pay one. So I'll start losing life back. But I have 30 life. 
in theory, I can out-damage them and live. Very big in theory here, but... But I have been relying on the Bastion of Remembrance. Ah! Everything's fine. Uh, I still have uh, harmonics in here. The Cauldron Familiar. Ogre Slumlord's going to be big. Mm. As to blockers, I will put a blocker here. Put a blocker here. And then sack this rat. I don't think I actually have to attack any. The numbers, the numbers that are here show that I really don't have to be attacking much. Because these are these are life loss, they're not damage. So they get around Elishnorn. Uh specifically the Bastion gets around Elishnorn. Uh because they can't block my army of rats. Uh, a lot of this is damage. I mean, I I could raid bombardment, but that'll get a ton of triggers on Elishnorn. Yeah, I was like, I'm just gonna wait for them to realize that there's no way for them to win here, because rats having fear means they can't block it. I have enough life to sit there and lose two life per rat. They don't have enough life to lose two life per rat. Okay, let's do that some more. We love playing around the control players. Because mono white control sucks. Uh, and that definitely could have been a lot worse. The other Elish Norn would have made it that much worse. Uh, cheap cards, cheap cards. We love cheap cards. Do I play the Dockside Chef first? Ah! This commander is bad for me. Oh no, this isn't the one that I thought it was. That's the that's the other angel. I was thinking of a different angel. The other angel's worse. It is also a Azor uh Orzov angel. Uh Lysa. Lysa it would ruin my deck. Cause Lysa replaces all those death triggers with exile triggers. You know what my deck relies on? The death triggers. It's great though, because uh, I can just sit here and keep bopping them. Fast decks do fast deck things. Drop a land. Play a rat. Throw a guy. Throw two guys. And shove one in an oven. That's terrible. But it's fine. Cooking them up to serve them to the rats is fine. I am the Rat Lord. Not the Rat King. That's a title that's already claimed. So I had to come up with a different one on the fly. Mm. So now I... Swing with the Rat. Turn a Rat into food. Eat the food. And I get my rat back. 
all I've done was tap a thing and gain three life. Didn't like my little combo. I'm very sad they didn't like my little combo. You know what you should do, opponent? You should have blocked. Because now I'm just gonna destroy that anyway. You could have gained life, but you didn't. You fool. You absolute fool. Could have gained life. Rampage the Valkyries. I never knew you can try each other player sacrifice a creature. That's fine. Sacking things is my deck's specialty. Kind of what it's built around. Except for when you exile all my stuff. Here, you should also have some rats. You know what I say? Rats for everybody. This doesn't give something reach, does it? Nope. Nope, it does not. And they have their commander out. I mean, it's... Dinosaurs of angels. Angels like dinosaurs are always bigger than rats. Uh, but that is an angel token. Meaning I can destroy it. Oh no, I have to sack a creature. Whatever will I choose? Just give me my rats. It's the rat investment. I give you two rats, they come to me. <laughs> Can't wait till the next deck I play. <laughs> I get to make fairy jokes the entire time. This is going to be a great episode. Lovely stream. I also may or may not be insanely overtired, which would explain why I am the way that I am currently. Flying pressure gets flying sand strike, pressure strike, double strike, flying and vigilance. That's all they saw in the top seven cards. That kind of sucks. Yeah, there's like an 80% chance I'm overtired. Mm, what if we, you know, of all the ones to do, that's fine. They could have blown up my tribute to Harabi, but they didn't. Transformed when it ETBs, I get the rats. Mm, no attacks. End the turn. I think I need to hold up the Shellob's ambush for their angel. Because they're gaining twice as much life as I'm losing, which is not a thing that I want them to keep doing. And they're going to gain two life every time I attack them now. Her creature. Great. We're soft angels, everybody. It is, in fact, good. Hey. Just want to play my guy. Well, these two hit. Or those two can, can be blocked. Or, nah, I won't attack. I won't attack. I will keep my flying blocker. Everything will be fine.
they just played a card that would normally kill most of their deck. What? Why would that... Lauren makes sense. Battle of Bywater would normally kill most angels. Am I missing something here? Did I misinterpret this as an angel deck and it's just a pure life gain deck? Because I could have made that mistake, and that mistake might cost me the game. Do I swing with my rats? I lose one life per rat. They gain a bunch of life here. You should abs- Can we stop doing this? You should absolutely block something with that 9-9 Vigilance Flyer. Yeah. Put that there. Put that there. Uh, target rat I control gains death health until end of turn. I did a thing. Will it help me win the game? Probably not. That's okay. Absolutely fine. That's an Elspeth, though. So, how do I remove Elspeth before they make a bunch of angels? Any pointers? Because uh, I have no cards in hand. And a commander I can no longer play. I've got three one ones to work with. And whatever the hell this monstrosity is. Oh, look, an arcane signet. When they gave it vigilance. Oh, that's when they gave it vigilance. I promise, I read cards. I swear I do. Uh, they need to get... I mean... They, they just put Elspeth. They just up Elspeth one and they win. I need to turn my fan off. I'm getting too, too cold. All that just to gain no extra abilities. Show them what you got. Why would you put the... Are they making it so I have... I mean, my deck is based on attacking. Uh, it's it's pretty clear that that's the case. Uh, there's really no way to hide it. That the only way I can actually win with this deck is if I attack. I just don't want a metric fuck ton of angels coming out. There is unfortunately not much I can do. I am surprised that I didn't see the other half of the combo. Because if they're playing Exquisite Blood, they definitely have the other parts of the combo. 
Because that's Vito, that's... There's a good number of vampires that can do it. Uh, it's just when there's something there's there's ways to do whenever you gain life target opponent loses that much life with exquisite blood that creates an infinite combo where a single damage loses somebody the game uh, and usually the person playing the combo can do at least a single damage or gain a life uh, i mean you can run it mono black you can run it or as, of, as long as you have black, realistically, because all the cards that do it are black. So if you have that color, absolutely just wash people. Two hands, no black mana. Uh, an Eileen Blair. Want the mana for strangle. Because they have cards they can play. This is why we keep mana up, folks. Tamer Adventures. Permanent spells you cast time adventure cost one less to cast. That's pretty fun. The top four cards in the movie card from Mania. If this is the first spell you've cast this game. Gotcha. That's cool. And she makes things cheaper. That's fine. I can put him in the command zone. And yeah, I can I can keep their graveyard pretty empty. Uh Lord Skidder's actually really good against Roscoe, who sits there and uh tries to eat everything into their graveyard to then I mean any graveyard decks, Skidder can kind of work around. I have a on my forehead? I do. That's unfortunate. <gasps> Tapped my big one. I'm just gonna keep making rats. Rats and rats and rats. Don't even need cheese to invite these rats to the party. They just keep showing up. Oh, that's three damage. That's not enough. He's back. Hello, thank you for the follow. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Armac Arcade, thank you so much for the follow. I can 100% track things on two screens. Yep. It's fine. Everything's fine. We're thriving. I guess well, it has an adventure. Do I want... Death Touch. I think the answer is yes. My rats have Death Touch. I eat their graveyard. Swing only with the Death Touch rats. This one makes rats that can block whenever non-token creatures die. So right now I'm getting two rats when something dies that's non-token.
uh, and actually Cauldron Familiar and the Witch's Oven is a combo and a half. Uh, because it it's a two card combo. Because two card combo that needs one black mana to actually work. Oh. How rude. Gonna sack a tap trap. Oh, whenever any non token, cre I understand now. Poker Slumlord really pulling through here. Any number of target tapped to non token creatures face down their 2 2 horrors. Um, I can't flip them face up. Why do we keep turning things face down? Why why do you do this? Why do you actually hate me? These are non-tokens, though, right? So I buff them with the nine crescendo. And then just to make sure I get extra damage. I think that the uh, antagonize was overkill. In hindsight. Insight the antagonize was overkill. Yeah. Got one, maybe two more rounds with this deck. Uh okay, I'm playing a mirror. Having rat outs. Good. No, this is this is weird. I'm glad they don't have the same card sleeves as I do. Uh rat out. That rat, it's my rat now. Rakdos rats with removal. What do you got? Do you have a counter rat out? Because <laughs> that'd be funny. Uh, boo, 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 boo. I do the voracious vermin. Rats. Rats. We're the rats. We're the rats. fine everything's fine just losing my mind a little bit and say i'm crazy i'm also just stupid tired that's my own fault what i get sad bot is bigger than rat And actually, Sadbot would would be an okay addition to this deck. I if I had more sack outlets, I think 
I need to see if Alter of the Brood is in here. Either Altar of the Brood or Altar of Dementia. Because then I could also run Milling. I mean, Brood just makes me more tokens, does it not? Altar of the Brood. I can spell. Which is... A permanent end spell from each pump is stuck there. Yeah, brood and then dementia is. Uh, sack creatures, right? Sack creature target puts is equal to. Yeah. Altar of brood and altar of dementia do the same thing, ultimately. Take action. Uh, 15 different abilities go off, and it's good. It's fine. Uh. Uh. Do I just. I just. Jai is greeting that, right? Keep the mana on top. Get rid of that. And wraps. I think it's actually interesting that Bargain works really well in this deck. Because Bargain just looks for uh it looks for artifact enchantment or token. And because of the sheer amount of rat tokens I make, I could actually do a lot of damage. We get it. You can play your commander again. Must be nice. I do X equals three. Okay, I am taking a slight lead. Not by much, because they can do the same amount of damage to me. And actually, they do more damage to me next turn. Oh, because of the bespoke battle garb. My to have two more non-land permits enter the battlefield under your control. Let's try and attach. It just cares about non-land permanents. That's ridiculous. Gotta block one. That's 10. They need to get 5 more damage onto me. I mean, if they, they can swing and then Lava Axe me. Pack Rat. They can do it twice. Oh, they only had one card in hand. No. Ah. Uh, what was it? Uh, the supernatural stamina really screwed me over. And the lack of mana screwed me over, realistically. That's all. That's what it came down to. I didn't have mana to do anything. Pack rat's dumb. Pack rat is pack rat's whole thing is the whole reason I don't have pack rat in this deck. 
I don't want to be that person. Okay, but now I'm playing the fairy deck. Uh, mainly because I want to be able to finish up my stream before the update rolls out in an hour. So, the sec is fun because the commander only cares about fairies entering the battlefield. So, it's a lot of fairies. Uh, quite a bit of control stuff. Uh, ego Drain, Duress... Curiosity, Fairy Fencing, Mirrodin Avenged, Mind Spike, Hopeless Nightmare. Uh, basically, the whole goal of this deck is empty their hand, empty their library, and swing with a bunch of flyers. This deck is very straightforward. Uh, I could have tried to play with Talion as the commander. Uh, the only tricky part with Talion is I would need to see their hand a lot more than I already am to get an idea of what their deck... Well, uh, those shrines. Shrines, the magic number is four. And shrines, I mean, I am going to die. But I do have Bitter Blossom. So I can start producing fairies faster than they can produce their shrines. So I start fairies next turn. Cool thing is, I can play things on their turn. Going to counter this one, too? That is two counter spells. How many more counter spells can I use out of their hand? My god. Uh, I can save that. I can use Brazen Borrower's Adventurer to return Goshintai if they attack me. Uh, if not, if it comes to the end of their turn, I'm going to do it to return their Shrine Token. Uh, both are, whoa, both are good targets, uh, but now is actually when I remove Goshintai. Because it prevents the extra token. I remove the extra token chance. That's all I need. Uh, yeah, because if they were going to drop two shrines that turn, that would have been bad. Oh no, they're looking to run mill? They're looking to run mill. I can... Do this. Discard a card and lose two life. I swing with my two flyers. No, this is going in a good direction. The double counter spell at the beginning really sucked. Because having. Bitter Blossom would mean I would have, you know, Beer Trigger every turn, at least one, regardless of what I'm doing. Wow. Oh, the fact that you still had a response for that? Absolutely insane. 
Uh, if any of the black shrines go down, I'm kind of dead. If the white token generation or the green token generation ones go down, I'm kind of dead. Uh... What if I do Tracarius Tutelage? I can draw and then discard. I can discard a Pilfer. Because Pilfer has no effect right now. Because they have no hand. Ultimately, I achieved my goal of preventing them from having a hand. I did it by accident. But I did do it successfully. Uh, and this will give everything the flying of Goshenta of Lost Wisdom has. Meaning I need to kill Audric. Like, right now. No blocks. Because they're really not doing a ton of damage to me. It's, it's when they hit that... There's two shrines that I'm worried about. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, I can divination, make them mill four. Land for turn. Uh, try to make the mill more. Okay. I'm gonna throw both of them. Hoping that odd uh, yeah. Hoping that Audric blocks one of them. I too have things I can do. Because Audric cannot be brought back with Goshintai of Life's origin. Because he's not an enchantment. Oh, I didn't think of that. Yeah, no, uh, I need to be careful. I need to mill them out before they can activate Goshen Tai of Life's Origin. Oh, there it is. There it is. That's, oh, that's the kill spell one. That one's fine. Uh, Stone Teeth, Sanctum of Stone Teeth is one of the ones I need to worry about. Uh, Hoden of Life, which is a green one I need to worry about. What is in my... Rankles in my graveyard. That sucks. What we're gonna do... We're gonna... Do this. That's fine. I want to leave lands on top of my library. Because they're going to mill them anyway. Because they have too much mana now. Mm, black mana makes me scary. Uh, Knight's Reach is a problem. Because Knight's Reach means I'm not playing with a hand. So I need to empty my hand next turn. Thankfully that's an upkeep trigger one. But uh, my fairies are not doing too hot. A sure target creature with toughness X or less. Yeah, that's... Yes. You will always be able to do that. Mm, let's see. Uh, I mean, likeness looter is a problem. Likeness looter being in my graveyard is a problem. Pretty sure I lose.
Uh, fifth plane, not. Scribe one, draw a card. Uh, guess the battle. <laughs> Feel like I'll be able to hit it, but I wouldn't have had much luck trying to mill them out. I need them to mill. I need to draw thirty cards. My library won't even have that by the end of this turn. Right? Yeah, 47 with 13 shrines out. Uh, 14 shrines out because they're about to pull one back from the graveyard. Yeah, shrines are... Shrines are gross. Shrines are gross. Because they do that. They just feed into each other. And they feed into each other too much. Uh, the store updated. Anything fun? The daily deals. That's gems. That's money money. Uh, pirates. Got some pirates. I have the cool Captain Lannery Storm, though. I have the coin art. Captivating crew, I just need a copy of in general. Because I need that to make a Agatha, an Agatha deck. Agatha of the Vile Cauldron. Also, someone pointed out to me that most of the arts of the fairies are women. So, yeah, it's great. Rankle's a guy. Uh, there's a handful of other fairies that are also guys, but the majority of the fairy art is actually women. And I think I hate it. There should be more, be more Wink fairies. Whatever that is, that ain't what I was asking for. I will say there is one that is very coded. There's actually a lot of fairies that are very coded. Uh, some for very specifically straight men. Uh, others, very much not. Uh, I think, as far as arts for fairies that are definitely designed with straight men in mind, uh, there's a called, card called Earthbind. And yeah, that is... I need to hold on to that because Halo Forger is a different kind of spell. I need one to get the Elven Foresight. Or I want the discard. I can make decisions. They discarded lands. Cost four mana to pull off. That means my card will cost seven to do it back. Oh, they're playing a poison deck. Playing a poison deck. That's cool. Mm, I don't like it, though. Mm. 
I'm going to keep this up for I have five mana to work with. I wish I had one more. Excuse me. I get a fairy. It can only block things with flying. Why do we have an uh an ability like that? I think that ability is one that I dislike. The flyer that can only block things with flying. I don't want that to hit. I don't want them to keep pulling cards. I am halfway dead. Uh, four, five, six, seven. X is four. Auto pay. A four four with toxic three needs to go. Uh, yeah, I'll just burn this now for the duress. To choose a non creature, non land card. Uh, Master's Rebuke is the one I want to pull. I think fairies were definitely a missed opportunity to uh, definitely get the LGBTQ community into magic. Uh, I feel like this this set is one of the ones where you're like, mm, this one could have been done a bit better to target specific demographics a bit better. But hey, that's what happens when you get bought out by Hasbro. Because they only care about money. You should... Let me draw cards, because you have very little mana. Ooh, and we're sacking mana? Even better. <laughs> what happens when she hits me? Mmm, she can't hit me anymore. Because if Glissa hits me, Ristic Study goes. I actually want Ristic Study. Try four, draw two. Try four. Fairy fencing is up there. I can card each turn. They're not doing that. Okay. I mean, realistically, if I had left one black mana up, I'd be able to take care of Glissa right now. 
Yeah, because they're specifically trying to avoid the Ristic study. Uh, I mean... So much mana. And target non land permanent. Someone controls to its owner's hand. And I hold up the fairy pouncing. Just in case they drop something with toughness four that I need to get rid of, I want to keep this, but. I don't think they're going to. Do you pay the one? Confirm zero. And now I want to take the two life. Uh, Raising borrower. Negotiator, not bargained. Drop two. Now I have a bunch of flyers. I have six life though. Six life, five poison counters. If they proliferate enough, I lose. Yeah, that's what happens when they decide to bring back poison counters. I need to put Ristic Study in more of my decks. Because I, I use a lot of blue. Combo players typically gravitate towards blue, and I am no different. I am not special. We gonna fashion the battle fan? Mm, what are we thinking? Do we wanna mill myself first? Yeah. We'll mill, bring back a spell stutter. I don't even care if they know that I have it. See, I wanted to see that I had the rankle coming. Because that makes me happy. Rankle's coming out next turn. I have the mana for the spell stutter up. Uh, I have mirrored and avenged in hand that they don't know about. Resolve. Take action, I will draw the one card. We have more cards in graveyard. We have four blocks mill. I don't actually want to keep milling things. Because I think the Gixian Skull Flare is going to be a problem. Also, that was two, three, four, five, six mana they would have had to pay to keep it. 
because the spell stutter is ridiculous. Uh, boop, Revenge of Ravens. And Rankle. Uh, each player discards a card. Each player sacks a creature. Discard a card. That was deals combat damage. Okay. Realistically, I can still play her. There's no reason that my commander should be costing eight to play as a fairy commander, but I'll take it. I pay the one. They paid the one. It's the first time they've actually paid it since I've cast Ristic Study. I think they might have realized that giving me a bunch of extra cards was a problem. This card a swamp. I wish I could activate multiple, I could activate, uh, yeah, I want them, want them to, uh, destroy our creature power three less, end of turn, vanquish the weak. I'd prefer it if you didn't just have a kill spell. They cannot attack me, uh, because when they claim attackers, Revenge of Ravens triggers, so... In theory, unless they can shock me for three or proliferate five times, I pulled it off. The fairies coming in clutch. Let's see, they're gonna want to pay the one, right? Yeah. The only problem is if they play anything else, they won't have the mana to pay the one. Yep. Here it is. The Revenge of Ravens triggers. Because, I mean, Picklock Prankster was just going to go in front of Glessa. It's a 1-3. Doesn't really matter in the long play. It served its purpose. It prevented me from taking three additional poison counters earlier in the game. Okie doke. Uh, uh. How much XP am I away? 800. Probably won't get the other pack today, but I have almost 20,000 coins, so I'll be able to buy one at the end of the stream. Ravages deck. Can't work in retail because I can't lift things. There's like an eighty percent chance that this game could end up lasting long enough to go to the towards the end of the stream. I believe that either way, I will be at, be buying at least one booster pack though at the end of the stream. Uh, just because I should be doing that more. And I'm just not. Joe to the Unifier. Fuck me. 
Uh, Navigator's Rune is good. Fairy Mastermind's okay. It paired with Divination Navigator's Rune, it's fine. I know this is when an opponent draws. Fairy Mastermind. Though the art of this fairy is actually a championship winner. So that's cool. This is a famous magic player. On a card. Relicry Tower. I have no max hand size. Uh, black man is good. Black mana is important when my commander has that. A mana geode, and you scry? Hmm. Sorcery. Interesting. A lot of lines on low speaker. My turn. I pass to their turn. Uh, they can play Joda this turn, which is a little... There, they could have played Joda this, this turn. Uh, please no counterspell. Uh, cause then I can play Navigator's Ruin. Uh, I'll lose the life. Uh, actually, I'll do this. Because it gives me a blocker. It loses them life. I scry two. Uh, land, that'll give me five, six, and then the Baronati. That works. Works for me. Uh, would I have loved Navigator's Ruin? Yes. But if they're going to be playing uh, this card, they're going to be wanting to draw extra cards, so I'm going to want the Mastermind out. They're going to move to end step. So yeah. Uh, Farinati and Navigator's Ruin. Hitting a Shia was huge. What? Oh my god, I would have scooped. I was going to have to deal with an Ashaya? That'd be hit. Okay, I'm not running poison. I'm not running poison. I have a chump blocker. Two more to cast. Reconnaissance mission. Hit a two or hit a three. Hit a three to hit a two. Hit double haste. That's pretty nice. Whoa! Uh, I think the Jota board blew up. Our strike. Yep, 
one life back. To bottom, draws a card. I need to keep one, two mana up, which sucks. I think I lost this one. I'm gonna be real. Because I can't do anything about Joda at the moment. Or I can't independently do anything about Joda and still have stuff to do against other things. Like, Sama is a problem. I guess if they play another problem, I do have a spell stutter now. It'll cost them four mana to replay their card. Not good though. I mean, I have Blade Brand, so I can stick a beer in front of whatever a big problem is that's not Samut. Because, uh, yeah, that's. First Strike Vigilance at 6 7 is ridiculous. Uh, I am going to give Obira Death Touch. Pretty sure I lose regardless, because I can't... That's 13, 14, 15. Yeah, they have just enough to kill me. Because I can't gain life here. So 6 plus 7 is 13... Plus three is the 16 that I'm at. Damn. Joda goes nuts. Okay, I will do one more. Because that was over much quicker than I thought it was going to be. Joda goes nuts. Look at the elementals. This is a land, I believe, correct? It's an is it land that can animate? I believe that's what it is. I forgot about that. I can double tap Q to tap anything that's not a creature for mana. It it auto populates my mana pool. Which is a pretty nice feature. The Kindly Lord Talion. Talion is non-binary. I forgot about that. Talion, who is the source of the Fae, is not a woman, but rather non-binary entirely. Actually, a lot, I believe Law of the Fae are canonically non-binary. Like, I believe Rankle technically is as well. And that the fairies are not technically male or female in a lot of cases. Uh, I know Abira is. Abira is a female. Abira is a woman who is a pain in the butt because she's still asleep. She's dealing with the stupid sleeping curse and is fine. But I would like to actually play a match instead of loading into one and having my opponent quit before the decks can load. I don't remember what card this is. This might also be a land, but I don't think it is. I believe this is a different card. I don't believe this is a land.
I could be wrong, though. I mean, I know not all the arts are lands for loading screens. Uh, Fairy Mastermind, Navigator's Rune, Tome Raider, and a Brazen Borrower. Plus Obira. See, Navigator's Rune is just fun. It's very fun in a deck where I do have a lot of attackers. Uh, and I mean, they're running proliferate attracts, uh, the old attracts. Uh, the one that just costs one of each color attracts. Uh, the, I'm pretty sure I'm dying to poison counters attracts. Uh, though I should have died to poison counters to uh, against Galissa. Yeah. Look at that. Poison counters and proliferate? Who would have thought? I think what I want to do is I want to pop it back to their hand with Brazen Borrower. So I can do that. I can play Shipwreck Mark Marsh and then Navigator's Ruin. But I need to see what they're doing. It really sucked if they just attacked. But I need to clear the path for Obira. Hmm. What if we don't do that? What if we... I wish I had more mana. Uh, let's see. Tomb Raider trades with the Void Wing. It's the Gold Forge Thopterix. Mm. Sculpted Perfection is also going to be a problem. Because now I need to use Obira or my Mastermind to block the Void Wing. Which, Obira is the better option. Dran Icker was good to hit, and Zimone and Dina was huge to hit because that's how they ramp into like everything from here on out. The only thing that sucks is Navigator's Rune is only four, and it just sees if you attacked at all. Uh, but that's why it's good in Pirates, Rogues, and Fairies. Uh, because it can just kind of do it all. Surveil one. Halo Forger I would like in my hand. Because Halo Forger can actually get me Drown Icker back. You guys are about to watch me use their own instants and sorceries against them. So I want to pop... Drown an Icker against the Thopterix, because that prevents them from having... Oh, <sighs> uh, I don't like that. Uh, it prevents them from having Ward on their Legendaries. Because Legendary Enchantments will have the Ward, Legendary Creatures obviously will have the Ward, uh, Artifacts... I think there's only a handful of legendary lands, so those aren't as big of a concern. But I do want this. And how much does Dragon Icker cost? It costs two. So I need to take action a two. Uh, 
of one man of any color. Take action. Two. Auto pay. I have nothing to proliferate on, but that's okay. It definitely could be a worse situation. Because I'm not the one that's about to get hit by a bunch of fairies. They played Brainstorm. Okay. See, Brainstorm's interesting here because they can actually use it to save stuff. Contagion Dispenser. What does its spell look, look like? A Bloom Hulk, Contagion Engine, Contagion Clasps, Evolution Save. It's a f metric fuck ton of proliferate. What would be. Oh. Um. Hmm. That kills every single one of my creatures. Not a single one of my creatures can live that. So, that's very much the loser's way out, is to just concede. But if I can't play my deck at all, I'm not going to sit there and just wait for them to slowly sap my life away. I don't have the time nor patience for that. Because for the most part, I do. I will just sit there. I'll let them do, do their thing because I know better. I know that I don't like being that person. So what do I do? I do six. Same. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Meaning I have eleven packs to open. Gold pack. Let's see. Restless Biovac, Deification, Sleep Curse Bay, I have Charming Scoundrel, but an ETB choose one, discard, uh, Impulse Treasure or a Wicked Token, an Ivy, Sword of Forge and Frontier. Uh, b -b 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 Impact Tremors, Cool Art. I'll open these six i see a couple news and i mean i got a couple uh grasp of fate twisted fealty gain control target and create wicked wicked roll attached up to to up to one target creature uh red tooth vanguard whenever and now enchantment etbs you may pay two if you do return from graveyard to hand uh, grasp of fate exile to one target now permanent uh, uh armory mice celebration as long as two or more non-land permanents etb'd it gets plus zero plus two okay now the important cards forced fruition it's my first copy of it and it's the cool art gumdrop poisoner uh when it etb's up to one target creature gets mass X mass, X null in the turn where X the amount of life you've gained this turn. 
you blind mice as foretold the beginning of your upkeep put a time counter in as foretold once it turn you pay zero rather than the mana cost for a spell you cast with mana value x or less where x is the number of time counters on as foretold uh three blind mice is kind of ridiculous when you stick it with other copies of three blind mice let me stay in this guy's bs cascade guy's cascade was rough yesterday uh virtue of strength and another rhystic study and let's see boundary lands ranger game combat in your turn if you control a card card a card if you do draw a card you love impulse <sighs> and a free mythic rare of my choosing i'll take it uh, that brings me to a little bit before noon. So, those are weekly announcements. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't have much else for you today. Uh, I don't have enough time to play uh, even just a quick standard game. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed my fun Eldraine decks. I will have more next week. Uh, I'll have another three next week for this. Uh, I still have decks I need to show you guys for the standard stuff, so that'll be next Monday. And yeah. Follow the Twitter. That's linked below and in chat uh, for all the announcements on when I'm going live and what I'm going live with. Uh, thank you for the fo follow, uh, Chronic Stirrup. Yeah. That's what your name looks like i hope that is correct i apologize if it is not uh but yeah go follow the twitter link below and in chat for the announcements on when i'm going live what i'm going live with and if you have any direct line of contact to me that's the best place to reach out uh and go check out the youtube channel that has all my vods so if you want to see a set that came out recently some of those commanders uh some of my other commanders that i've played that are a bit older or if you want to go see other things that I play, that's the place to do it. Uh, but that is all for me for today. I will see y'all later. I will post the announcement on Twitter. And yeah. Bye.